This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. City Theater's 45th season begins with Cambodian rock band, an epic tale of family and heritage by Lauren Yee, featuring the surf rock music of Dengue Fever. On stage September 14th through October 6th, season details at citytheatercompany.org. Looking for training in a new career? Or just need help getting started on a new path? Are you looking for new employees, training for your current employees, or starting your own apprenticeship program? If any of these appeal to you, the Southwest Corner Workforce Development Board can help. With four Pennsylvania Career Link centers in Beaver, Green, and Washington counties, we can help you meet your career goals or to find the right employees for your business. Contact our offices at 724 229 5083 or visit us at www.southwestcornerwdb.com. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 464. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the wonderful Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, looking out the window, seeing the view. I really need to put a camera back up so you can see that view. We haven't really showed that off that much lately. And just remember, people, that we, we are not in a basement, as typical podcasts or an attic, or whatever the case may be. And we got a crew with us here today. First of all, from Big Bank International Esquire. He's a gadget guru over there. It's John Chichilla. That's me. And we're recording. We're recording. Yes. You hit the play and the record button. I hit the play and the record time. at the same time. That's how you do that, right? Wow. Mm-hmm. And then you pause when and then, until it's time for the song you're waiting for to come on the radio. That's how we do that. And just hope that the the announcer doesn't overlay on the front end of the music. Yeah. Just let me have my song, man. Um, How am I going to make my mixtape for my my dude? Katie, did you do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I have a bajillion mixed cassettes at home. I wish I had something to play them on. (laughs) Uh, There's stuff around. Katie, do this. Hi. She's the (laughs) wrangler over at Scarehouse International Enterprises. Yeah, I like that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> the many things happening over there gearing up for the haunt season opening a new location hey. and everything that goes along with that Hi. <laughs> <laughs> doing great yay city of pittsburgh <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome um and uh fridays once they once you use bluetooth should i let it Fridays? Fridays. Only on Fridays. Like You're not allowed to use it any yeah. other day of the week. Yes. It's Friday. You got Bluetooth and you got nothing better to do. I'm going to get you high. What, what what app is Fridays? The TGI Fridays? Oh, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I don't yeah, have no, I'm app. getting all those. As, you know, the people have updated the, the iOS 13. Everything is asking for Bluetooth permission. You're just like, what? Yeah, I don't understand That's a, that one. The, I, no, I get what it is. I know it's location. It's yeah. beacons. It's all that kind of uh, stuff, right? Katie's it's like a, Facebook and stuff whenever they're like, yeah. oh, can I have Bluetooth? So nah, then you have like your beacon and shit. Yeah, the beacons and, and all that. I've been I, I've been letting a lot have it, but sometimes it's like, mm, maybe not McDonald's. I don't know. I don't know. The location has been very eye-opening, too. Uh, so a little bit of, little of interesting stuff going on there. But we'll get into that and uh, so much more. Of course, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. Email us at awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Tweet us at awesomecast. Hit us up on awesomecast on, your, on the Facebooks. And, uh, of course, subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch video versions on your Facebook and YouTube. You can also ask your uh, voice device out there, Google Home, or one of the millions of things that they announced at uh, the Amazon Echo event last year or last week. Um, all of those can access 
the awesome cast podcast you might have to set up tune in or something in order to do that but uh we are available there and why not live in the future and say hey listen to the awesome cast podcast and it just happens we're of course here every tuesday on facebook live at 7 p.m eastern time uh on the awesome cast page we are streaming to some other places like the sorgatron media uh twitch page and uh, on our on our twitter and uh youtube page if those connections work tonight uh and uh uh, but, of course, the big conversation is happening over here on the Facebook page um, that you can join us on. And, of course, if you're not a part of that uh, chat room with us and, and telling us and talking with us uh, as we are live, you can um, tweet us at AwesomeCast and continue conversation using hashtag AC464 for this episode. Uh, and of course, uh, our streaming partners, uh, shout out to them, our friends at the River's Edge, River's Edge, pgh.com, 405 Media, the405media.com, and our friends over at Post Industrial Audio that have been helping share the awesome cast. Uh, check out those posts and streaming schedules on their respective sites. Also, uh, shout out to our Patreon supporters, even if some of them are mad at or are. Are, are maybe recently surpassing me on Dr. Mario at patreon.com slash awesomecast, including Matt Weller over at, at the Coffee Club $5 level, John Diggy DeGore and John Carmen, and at the fan of the show, dollar level Michael Fedor, the longest running Patreon supporter of this show. Maybe any of the shows, actually, now I think about it. Uh, you can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash awesomecast. So a lot has been happening. I mentioned I mentioned um, the 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 Dr. Mario bits, but uh, uh, Mario Kart's here, guys. Mario Kart is here. I think I'm the only one playing this out of us, right? Is this this is my? I think so. I will get into it someday. Someday. <laughs> you playing the Apple Arcade stuff too I'm much? I'm playing some Apple Arcade. Well, that and I'm playing Switch games. Mm -hmm. I still have it. Your so card is full. I get my, it. That and like I'm still playing Spider Man. Like that's a long game. Yeah. Like Zelda Breath of the Wild, super long. Spider Man for PlayStation, super long. I feel like you've been on that game forever. Spider Man, I've probably been. I've been. It's been like nine months. Yeah. Like I think I got my PlayStation like right after Christmas. But I, yeah, I know what schedules. I mean, it's like, hey, I played some Gears of War, and six months from now, I'll play some more Gears of War, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then sometime in about a year and a half, I'll actually beat Gears of War, right? Uh, so. So, so uh, of course, I played all 10 days of the beta, and um, as soon as this thing, I was pre-purchased. I had it downloaded after the show last week because I got the notification, but unfortunately, it was too soon, and the servers weren't up yet. Oh, no. <laughs> so, in the meantime, I have gone through every track available, and I'm waiting six hours for the next cup to come up. And uh, so it, it's, of course, freemium versioned uh, Mario Kart, uh, you know, a lot of classic tracks in there, you know, much like we saw on the on the beta before. Um, but when you get in here and I'll just pop in here so you can kind of see what it looks like as you get your characters, you're kind of randomly like, you know, buying chances to um, get the carts and the and the gliders and the characters and everything. So I got some Princess Daisy going on here and um, it's pretty fun just just touch controls uh, as you go through here and and in, you know you're trying to five star everything and that gives you more and levels ever levels up all your guys to get more points to help you get you know take on everything um so the we're currently on like the new york city tour which it's going to reset i think it's at every two weeks so we're going to start over with everybody um, with a new, you know, I guess, arrangement of, of tracks and everything. I, I am noticing there's a few tracks that I have not seen yet from the beta, um, including a hot house one with all the booze. Um, but there's also some, some tracks that weren't a part of the beta too, like the, let's say the, the Mario Galaxy, uh, New York City one and everything. I'm doing pretty good for talking while I'm doing this, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it's, I guess it, it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, it, they have a new steering control. I haven't tried that. I'm on a classic one. They're just the one. It, it's a one figure control. I'm just kind of sliding it uh, from side to side across this, and you tap to um, uh, uh, you know do your items and everything. Uh, it, it's got my attention. Uh, they have, you know, of course, like I said, it's a freemium game. I don't even know how to get. Yeah, we'll quit out of this. Um, so you're gonna have like they're trying to sell you rubies for these chances to to shoot the pipe 
and uh, get the special character for for the time and everything. So you can purchase those, but you collect coins, and that'll do some stuff too. Um, you can act, or if you just want to drop twenty bucks to get Mario, you can do that too. <laughs> By the way, I got Mario today just out of the pipes. So I know some people were kind of complaining about that on the internet, but he is accessible otherwise. So I mean, it, it's kind of like Doctor Mario, where you kind of randomly get these characters as you go through. And you get to level up your carts with tickets and everything. Um, it's obviously, I've been at it for a bit here. <laughs> so in under a week, we've already caught up with it. So it's been it's been kind of fun and, and kind of moved me on from, some people have caught up to me on Dr. Mario since. Uh, so um, it, it's pretty good. Uh, Ch- Chilla, you're, uh, so you say you're going to jump into this soon? Uh, I'm now in the training course. Thank you very much. Okay, he's on the Funny, sh- funny, funny <laughs> enough. I, I don't know if you saw I posted when like I got I got the notification that hey it's available like you were saying mm-hmm. and then I went to play it and I'm like oh there goes my productivity and then it was like up oh, servers aren't up yet yeah and I'm like up oh, that can be if, if it would have came out like right then yeah I may have been more tied up with it so it would have caught you right there and I know it was like it was like oh that, let's see that that downtime when I loaded up says like two or three in the morning. I should still be up because I'm working on the show. Then I got to it and the servers were full. So, you know, again, launch issues, I'm sure. Um, and there goes the rest of the show for Chilla. Yes. He's still in the training course. Are you downloading it too? Currently. Currently downloading it. Yes, Katie. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed how many people um, friended me on there already because I'm at wrestling shows this weekend. They're like, damn. Damn it! Like the you know you're you're kicking my ass on the on the track and everything because there is one of the cups are are um like the third cup like I think it's the the turtle cup um there's uh, a competitive thing um for that last I think about a week uh, where you can see where your points are with your friends for for that cup and everything too. So is there a way that I can match up with someone that I want to play? Not yet. Yet. Not yet. If you go to the menu, let me pull it up here. They got a little inbound multiplayer um, there by the gliders and the news. So, and they just dropped another update today. They actually also have um, one of the updates they did drop today. There's also a all cup rankings. So now, like, you know, there's several pages, but like, you know, worldwide, who is the best Mario Kart player right now on this tour? So, like I said, it looks like it's going to re- reset. I think it said every two weeks. Um, there is a premium model. I'll show you, you this, Chilla. Um, you have, you know, you, you, as you collect your stars, you get these gifts. And uh, it's... Gifts or gifts? Gifts. gifts. Okay. And and it, if you paid the $5 a month for the gold pass, you get a little bit extra versus if you're just playing through, you just get a couple of things. Um yeah, this is uh, that that's it, it's it's the premium model. You knew it was going to be there, and they actually give you a two week trial to the gold pass, so you can try it out here in this first iteration here and collect whatever. Um, is it through like an Apple subscription, yeah. and it's easy to cancel? Yeah, it's an Apple subscription. So, and those usually notify you before they start charging, don't they? They don't. Nope. Put I a reminder on your again. calendar. Yep. Put a reminder in your calendar before you drop that five bucks. But also interesting because it's five bucks. Also, Apple Arcade is five bucks, which, by the way, has Sonic Racing, which is not bad, but it's not Mario Kart. So and I've been playing some fun stuff over there, too, with the golf and everything like that. Uh, it was great downloading a bunch of those on the TV and like seeing them on, a, on full TV with everything. I have not connected my Xbox controller yet, Chilla. So, uh, Wait, but did you, oh. so have you played? Do you know Mario Kart isn't on the TV, is it? No, but Sonic Racing is. But Sonic Racing is. Okay. So, but I've been having like it keeps giving me like server errors when I like session errors when I go on the Apple TV. Uh, again, it might be my internet situation since I don't have in-house Wi-Fi right now. So um, we'll work on it. Katie, what's your awesome thing of the week? I just created a Nintendo account. <laughs> Oh, be my friend. You never had one? No, look, no, I'm fancy and new. I'm even, with, even with Animal Crossing? No. Wow. No, I don't think I ever did. I think I probably signed in with something else, but I don't think I created a Nintendo account. That's I'm Dutters. Surprising. Be my friend. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just tell you to be my friend. I don't know what it means. Just be my friend. My awesome thing of the week. Uh, milkshakes. 
Uh, so the Scarehouse Shake is back at oh. Burgatory, participating Burgatory locations. Uh, just dropped today. We'll be here till November 3rd. Super excited about that. Uh, the shake is delicious, by the way. Uh, it's You can have it spiked and not spiked. I really want a spiked one today. Uh, <laughs> I deserve one. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to Burgatory again. Yeah. Oh, oh, and no. you can have it, and it's delicious because you make room for kids. It benefits mm-hmm. them. And uh, if you're not familiar with Make Room for Kids, they're great. They put uh, Xboxes in various. I think they're all through Children's Hospital now. They were working on AGH and, um, the, shoot, I'm trying to remember the Lemieux home. Um, but they, yeah, they're pretty much everywhere to entertain kiddos. So that's what this wonderful shake goes and benefits. It's pretty neat. Awesome. And of course, a lot of stuff, uh, zombie den. Oh gosh. Yeah. It was, I saw, I saw some zombie yoga in the, uh, market square. Oh yes. We, we sent our, our, our zombie to go do some yoga with a bunch of Karens, apparently a bunch of Karens. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wish you could have seen the dirty looks that some of these people gave our zombie when he sat down to do <laughs> yoga and they were just like, ah, how dare you come over here? And we were dying. It was amazing. And he oh. tried, he just not as flexible. It is October. It mm-hmm. is time for awesome Halloween stuff. And of yes. course you guys are usually at the epicenter of that. We're so. every flipping where i haven't we, heard we were in the carnegie museum of natural history they just dropped the video for the after dark oh really oh it's good it's they, they have a new video editor and i forget his name i apologize oh he's so good you have to check out some of their other videos if you haven't yet uh one of their other after dark videos uh, included like titanic scenes with two of those t-rex c- costumed characters mm-hmm. oh so good but our video is it is the haunted cool. museum after dark yes okay let me see if i can pull that up here no yes that's just a that's just a google listing uh, <laughs> That works. <laughs> so yeah, so the, they just uh, dropped that video today. Oh, I think I just found it. Actually, is this it? Yeah. Well, oh no, that's oh. a. Now it looks like the Channel Four's. Oh, okay, it's Channel Four's coverage. Okay, yeah. it said there were zombies. So no, yeah, that was probably us. We were there. <laughs> now this one is more of like an, un, they were calling it, it's un, unnatural history, and mm. they asked us if we had um, any sort of weird clown or circus. Uh, creatures for them and it was like yes absolutely <laughs> do we and <laughs> do how we ever how many would you like yeah so there's uh three in the video um if one looks familiar it is me <laughs> <laughs> i think i saw those on the instagrams yeah yeah i got to wear a mask i was very sweaty <laughs> but it's so much fun awesome well look out for that i haven't heard i'm hoping we still have the uh, uh neighborhood block party that we had last year so i'm keeping an ear out for that too we had a lot of fun with that and live streaming on Halloween. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Chilla. Less scary. Uh, <laughs> what's going on with Microsoft? You're looking forward so, to tomorrow. <clears throat> so tomorrow is the announcement. I think it's... I can't remember what time. It's it's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard. It's in, It's coming out of New York. So we don't have to worry about yeah. the, the West Coast time. Um, but Thank you, Microsoft. We have gotten a little leak. Um, no. So they're going to be announcing the new Surface Pro 7, mm-hmm. a 15 inch Surface laptop, and an ARM powered Surface, which I'm interested to see the ARM powered Surface because we have the Surface Go, which is pretty underpowered. Mm-hmm. Can you not hear me? Do I need to speak yeah, need closer, closer into the mic? Mm-hmm. Um, Love the mic, Chilla. Love the mic. But the, the interesting thing that I'm happy to see is while we haven't they haven't given up the dock connector. They have replaced the old Thunderbolt display port with USB-C. Okay. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, Series 10 processor from what I've heard. Um, I'll be interested to see what what other things or how they up play this because the form factor of the devices haven't changed. What I'm also interested in is will the ARM device come with cellular embedded? Mm. So kind of how you can get an iPad with cellular built in. They don't have, ever since the Surface 3, not Pro 3, they haven't had a cellular enabled device. So I'm interested to see if the ARM device will come with cellular. The other thing that I hear is they're coming out. Oh, I just lost the link. Um, they're coming out with a dual screen device. So the second link there um, it says Windows 10X may be Microsoft's OS for dual screen devices. So they, they've kind of teased these dual screen devices in the past. I'm interested to see, and, and other vendors have tried this. I'm interested to see how they pull this off. Will it be more of a 
a book slash notebook style OS. Um, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, but I'm really interested in seeing how that works out. Yeah. And how, like, will it be full featured? Will it be kind of written for it? And we'll just have the Windows core, right? Yeah. I'm guessing it's going to obviously run at least the Office apps. Mm -hmm. And what I think would be cool is if you had kind of how the Surface Pro or even the iPad keyboards are kind of like that very thin structure imagine that if you could open the device like a book mm -hmm. and then fold out a, a keyboard so it was almost like having dual screens but still have a keyboard mouse kind of combo i think it would be a pretty cool way to work i feel like we've seen a concept like that somewhere along we the saw too. the laptop that the key or the monitor slid out from the side yeah like a second second screen monitor the only thing that'll be interesting about this is it's going to be running to portrait mode not to landscape yeah so it'll be interesting to see how they overcome well, that or is it well. going to turn is it going to turn with the with the device like like it does now i would be surprised if it turned like my like my my laptop that I didn't know was a convertible uh, notebook uh, tablet <laughs> that I keep yeah, putting it on the side. I could and see I'm like, them. I could see vertical? them. I could see them turning it if they wanted the second screen to also be a touch keyboard. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it'll run in like a clamshell mode with a touch keyboard. Maybe it'll run dual portrait with some kind of kickstand fold out keyboard. Uh, only time will tell. The, the interesting thing about Microsoft's announcements tomorrow is that I know there's a plethora more of announcements in early November coming in Ignite. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see how they break up the tech for tomorrow and then also continue to announce hardware in early November because Ignite's a little late this year. Mm -hmm. um, and Ignite typically is like a coding thing? No, that's... Um, or services. To me, Ignite some a little more services. Build okay. is their coding developer okay. conference. Okay. Um, Ignite is to get people invigorated about the integrations of technology. Yeah, that's uh, the integrations of technology. Okay, but uh, but uh, that's that's kind of their push of just like where we're seeing like the Raspberry Pis and stuff like what that. Is, so or, last year, so last year they showed. The new Surface Hub with right. a specialized speaker for conference rooms and their AI that if you were in a meeting and said, hey, Sorg, can you make sure you post the show at 2 a.m. tomorrow? And you said yes, the natural language processing would actually create a to-do in your mailbox okay. or a reminder okay. or a task or whatever system you were using and it would assign it to you because it would be able to see see who you were in the room with between voice rec and facial rec so that kind and of, then figure out who's who so, so that kind of high level stuff tech like me it, take yeah. meeting minutes for yeah. you that kind yeah. of thing well yeah i have to play a little bit with those surface hub screens they're, they're, they're kind of fun hey you know what else is affordable and won't get a get recalled uh our friends at slice on broadway uh, SliceOnBroadway.com. Uh, check them out. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. The guys are always taking care of us over there. Uh, Beachview right up the road. Carnegie PA, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Go check them out. Let them know the awesome cast sent you. And enjoy some delicious pizza. God bless you. Bless uh, you. <laughs> and uh, go check them out. Slice on PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. All right, hey, a shout out to our friend Chachi. He is continuing his game journey. Let's check out uh, how how far along. Last we knew, he was in uh, deep into Super Nintendo land. I don't know why uh, my links aren't working. And uh, if you go to thegamejourney.com, I know he's been doing, and I think he's been having some dot com problems too. Oh, there it goes. That's is, me. Is he Mario Kart? No, that's me. Uh, he did Mario Kart like a week ago, um, the original Mario Kart. As part of that, now he's digging deep into uh, Lost Vikings, uh, Castlevania Four. I know you're playing some original Castlevania uh, on my phone of all places, there, Chilla. 
So I love this. Like, this is all the stuff that, I, that when I was like, you know, man, I wish I had a Super Nintendo. These are all the games that I read about Nintendo Power <laughs> back in the day. He's in that era right now. Me logging over a Game Pro era. Uh, so I did play some F Zero on my Switch. Oh yeah. Yep, that was pretty sweet. Does that hold up? That whole I like I I've always liked F Zero. I think it still holds up. There's something about Mode Seven graphics, aren't there? So, um. And I, I want to come back to Nintendo stuff in a little bit um, on the iPhone. We got a lot of stuff over our awesome cast uh, group over on Facebook. If you guys can join us over there, uh, share some stories throughout the week or comment on ones that we were putting in there. Uh, first of all, I know Chilla, you got some new new over there. I got some new new. Yeah, you got some new new. I got yeah. I did pick up the uh, 11 Pro. It came in the mail last Thursday. Okay. Interestingly enough, I can't get a screen protector yet because <laughs> I refuse to get my screen protectors anywhere but the Apple store because of like their application process and mm-hmm. that like little device and uh, AT&T, Verizon, etc. doesn't have one of those. So I went into the store over the weekend and they were like, yeah, we're sold out of all screen protectors. So hopefully I can make it out there sometime soon. But I am super impressed. My favorite thing is definitely the camera. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely speedy. And I will say also the battery performance is pretty amazing. Yeah, you're showing me you, you can switch from like camera to camera on the fly in, the, in there, uh, which I think we... It, it's interesting, though, because because it can do the 16 by 9 full screen mm-hmm. the way it overlays the buttons on there is pretty interesting it kind of looks to me futuristic from what we would normally see from apple you should have plugged your phone into the system over here <laughs> so we could see those um the, the yeah the, the camera ui is a lot different mm. because of the extra actual the third camera i haven't created any slow fees yet um but i will say the other thing the newer OS, like migrating to device to device. And I, people out there, I know I'm going to get Samsung's done this forever, but just the ability to take the device out of the box and it says, do you want to migrate from another device? And you put the devices next to each other and they, it moves all of your stuff from your old phone to your new phone um, was amazing because what I actually did is I kicked that off and it was like, you have 37 minutes left to for it to move the data. Mm-hmm. So that's when I got in the car and drove to the Apple store to get my screen protector put on. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time I talked to someone in the Apple store, it was done moving stuff over. Um, nice. So that was the only thing that was interesting was it actually made me go back and because I have dual factor on my iTunes account turned on. And I had taken the SIM card out of my old phone, put it in this phone, and but it hadn't gotten all the way through the activation process yet, and I couldn't get on Wi-Fi at the mall for some reason. So it it was like, it gave me an option, like I never got the code, so I tapped the never got code, and it instead of sending it to another Apple device, it sent me it in a text message, Mm -hmm. which even though I couldn't get to the OS the text message came through and it gave the new, do you want to add this code from your last text message? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. That is super handy for Twitter. It worked perfectly. So it was pretty darn awesome. Well, anyways, the reason I brought it up, Podner uh, brought up an article. Are you familiar with iPhone 11's deep fusion camera? Yeah. So they're going to open that up. So other devs right now in the iOS 13 developer beta, um, this is, uh, as it's saying in the article, uh, Phyllis Schiller was calling, uh, was calling it com- computational photography, mad science when you were introduced it on stage. This was, this is the thing that they showed off as like, this is what the phone's going to do in the near future, right? Like it's not there yet. Um, so this is, uh, let's see, do, 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 uh, standard wide, wide angle lens. We use Apple's enhanced smart HDR for bright to medium light scenes, deep fusion kicking in for medium to low light night mode coming on for dark scenes. You know, you know what would be the ultimate test of this? Uh, Katie, can we get, can we get an, a new iPhone into, uh, the basement and test it in low light situations? Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think somebody, I think Scott's going to get one. That's good. So right. the one thing I will say in, Podner and I are going back and forth in the 
the chat. Um, in the dark mode, it actually gives you kind of a hold still for X seconds mm-hmm. based on how dark because it's it taking is. in multiple shots and, and and you know kind of adjusting that information, right? Yeah, so it it's fine if you like you're doing if you want to take like a still of something. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's prime time for like kids roasting marshmallows moving around a campfire. Mm-hmm. Um, I did get some blur in there. I think if you kept kept at it, you could probably perfect your shot. But it's definitely not meant for any kind of action at night. So I'm reading through some of the process here. Because it is kind of stepping you through like what all happens for this deep fusion part. By the time you press the shutter, the camera has already grabbed four frames at a fast butter, uh, shutter speed to freeze motion in the shot and four standard frames. Uh, when you press the shutter, it grabs one longer exposure shot to capture a detail. They take the three regular shots, long exposure shot, merged into what Apple calls a synthetic long. Don't say that wrong. Uh, and that's, that's the major difference uh, from smart HDR. Uh, pixel short exposure. It, it just mixes all this stuff together, competes what works. Uh, we're talking about lumin- luminescence, um, sky and walls or lowest bands, well, skin hair. Fabrics are high high levels, um, and it may. And interestingly, apparently, they like taking pictures of people in sweaters to test these. So, but the person's not in the sweater isn't moving. No, 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 no. But this this is again. This is still photography. This mm-hmm. is not. I'm going to take pictures at the football game, right? Right, or a wrestling match or something like that. This is a subject sitting there holding still, you know, kind of situation. So, interesting. So, I mean, these things are, they got a lot of horsepower and, and we're throwing in all of photography. It's, it's pretty interesting to see what they're pulling out of it. Katie, you're excited about the possibilities of... Uh, Play more Mario Kart? Yes, I am. Know, yes, that too. <laughs> but future iPhoning. I know you were yeah. excited when you popped up to, what, what were you on the, the 7? I was on, I don't know, I think it was the 7. Oh, you're on the X, that's right yes, now. Yes, I'm on the X and that now, was, which that, you can't get those anymore. <laughs> yeah, but that was a big upgrade for you. Oh gosh, yeah. Yeah, so. That was a new world for me. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is paid off in November. Oh, because I'm like, ah, oh, just probably don't drop it. Yeah, yeah. So, so November, it's paid off, and I can get something new or and stop paying or just stop paying for a phone for a bit. I said, that's the thing. I don't because you're on the same cycle. I uh, Missy and I are, and it just I'm not feeling. I'm playing the games and not really seeing lag or anything. Mm-hmm. The worst thing that happened was somehow I, I downloaded uh, ten copies of the uh, uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming and Deadpool two to all my devices Ooh. and um, and filled them. <laughs> So you downloaded 10 copies. Yeah. I kept trying to download it to my movies anywhere. And apparently like it finally all came through and filled it with as many copies as it could on my phone and on my iPad. You need more than one. I don't know. I just, every time I hit download, trying it and tried it again. And but it was interesting to see the smaller copies on the iPad versus the phone, probably because of the resolutions. Um, anyways, bad news from Doug. Thanks, Doug. Uh, over at shouldidrinkthat.com. Uh, 218 million Words with Friends players' data reportedly stolen in Zynga hack. Great. Great. Now they're going to see all my horrible scores or how many times my <laughs> wife beat me at Word with Friends. So Bajillion. <laughs> this is why you don't use the same password for two different services. Yeah. Well, let's be honest about this. I probably <clears throat> use the Facebook login. Yeah. Dun, dun. Well, so when, but when they, when, if they get that, do they get they don't get that token though, do they? I don't know. No, they probably don't get the token, but like they definitely brought in information from Facebook, right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the yeah. stuff that Facebook's been in trouble about? So that's out there. I mean, it's it's like vitals. It's it's pro- I mean, I'm sure it's not like your phone number or social security number or anything, but enough stuff that can really kind of uh, mess with you. Uh, speaking of Mario Kart, um, or no, not Mario Kart, Doctor Mario. While I was being distracted. Uh, our Patreon, as I alluded to before, uh, Matt Weller has passed me on Dr. Mario, it seems. So um, it's on. It's on. Hey, I've been distracted by Apple Arcade and uh, Mario Kart to your benefit, sir. But uh, now that I know, I'm poking at that a little bit more. So I was worried. I was I was worried Dr. Mario would be the thing that I caught up and uh, didn't have any more levels to play. But at least they got multiplayer over there. Um, also, Bobby Cherry... 
over at uh, Inside.com. Uh, <laughs> Sheets, he's a resident uh, a fellow Sheets um, um, connoisseur, I guess. And uh, Sheets is going to be opening a tech and innovation hub in Bakery Square on <gasps> today. Whoa. Today. Whoa. Um, I don't think it's open to the public. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be an innovation center for Sheets. I mean, remember, like, Sheets has been kind of like the, you know, do you go to a regular gas station anymore? Because they're the ones, you know, they were kind of the first ones with the touchscreen and I, I don't, all the other innovations, you know, a drive through at a gas station. I mean, they're kind of pushing the envelope as far as what, what, what a convenience store can be there. I, I think Liberty Avenue needs a sheets. That's Damn my, straight West Liberty. One. West Liberty. West Liberty needs a sheets. The West End itself, you know, I mean, geez, the only thing when I, when I was doing the late night lifting, the only thing in the city that became like the hub of a place to go that was not just a shitty gas station hmm? is the get go on Bomb Boulevard. Yep. That's like the only place to go. And I'd run into other people there because that's all anybody in the city. If you're in central Pittsburgh, that's where you end up. Is Bomb Boulevard got, uh, Gecko? It's just the everybody's kind of connector in there, right? So, um, so uh, let's see. The, the company, just as a reminder, the company has tested Bitcoin kiosks, uh, released their own at least two craft beers as a uh, part of their their beer offerings here in PA, and uh, offer electric vehicle charging stations in many locations. Where were we? In the middle of West Virginia. <laughs> And they had a lineup of like 10 Tesla charging stations. Well, I'm sure that's like some hub of I'm almost out of electricity. And I <laughs> this need- is how far <laughs> I can get from Pittsburgh because they have them um, at the uh, Wexford exit. I know they have them up in Hermitage at one of them, one of the four in Hermitage. Uh, so, yeah, so they, it's it's and they're, you know, they it's, it's they're, I guess they're the superchargers that Tesla does, too. I thought it was interesting that quote this will give sheets a unique opportunity to access developers and other talent in Pittsburgh. I thought that was a pretty cool. Well, while we were doing, uh, we're talking with, I, uh, the name off the top of my head, I think it was Catherine Mott. That's the, um, um, uh, over there innovation works. Um, they had just met with, the sheets people uh about the innovation you know innovation works mm-hmm. is involved with them and probably has a little bit of a hand of them moving in over there at bakery square in the west end here so that's good to see um so hopefully um you know our drone sheets w- uh, deliveries will be uh will be soon um alex alex cars says uh, last minute awesome thing just received a pair of raycon e50 wireless earbuds he'll keep me posted on how good they are so moving on the wireless there. Awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out for you. Uh, of course, hey, we do a lot of this podcast every week and we do a lot of things. We do a lot of things, guys, <laughs> uh, <laughs> including at least four recordings this past weekend, including down in Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, for some pro wrestling groups, but Psychic Media Services, uh, Missy, myself, uh, Katie, getting in on the action. Uh, we do everything from sporting events, music video production, conferences, and everywhere in between. The team at Psychic Media Services has you covered. What next big thing can we be? Can we help you with is, and be the uh, uh, sidekick to your superhero project? There's a lot of stuff going on there. Hey, I've been I've been revamping the uh, LinkedIn page too. With some of the uh, more recent uh, uh, projects that we've been doing, uh, including uh, uh, you know stuff that's been released recently, like inside podcasting um, edits, and of course uh, we've been getting in the news with uh, Dial It Down podcast uh, that happened at the Carnegie Library Music Hall, and uh, a lot of fun stuff going on there. We're going to make sure that we keep that updated. You can check out some of the recent music video work that we've done too, and of course uh, a lot of that stuff happens over at IndieWrestling.us as well. On the regular, we are doing live production. I, I I can't think of too many people doing live production, shooting and editing as much as we do. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Go check out what's going on at SidekickMediaServices.com. Um, I wanted to touch on... Chilla, you were playing with this a little earlier. <laughs> and... Um, oh, 
What? Where are you going with this, buddy? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm hoping he, it's not going to lead into the article. On I my to lead phone. To. Complete the sentence. On my phone. Uh, so there was an article about an alternative app store that came up last week uh, of interest. Now, it's kind of laughable when you get to it. Because about the only thing that's on it is is an, a, a Nintendo emulator, <laughs> right? So um, it, it's um, Alt Store is what it's called. You go to the website, you download a program for Alt Store. Basically, it's a server on your computer, Mac or PC, and then you connect it to your phone, download the store, and then when you get in there, you get a Nintendo emulator. I'm sure this will last a long time, guys. Uh, but it's Wait, so the way that works though is it's using like the developer signing process. Yeah, yeah. So until they redo how all developers can develop, so, it, so I could see this lasting quite some time. So the server, the server, like. This app is on here, and you need to check in with your computer once every seven days. To because basically the app will expire, right? Yes. So, um, and it's this is by the way, this is a very nice uh, Game Boy emu- or I'm sorry, Nintendo emulator. Um, pretty interesting model when you get into it too, because uh, I'll open up the App Store and oh, unable to verify app. I've already see there. There you go. Internet connection is required to verify the. Trusted developer, do 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 do. So there's your first problem. That's probably the first thing that I tried out, and it's expired already. So I need to connect this to my computer in order to um, um, check it out again. But the only thing you can download, as of last I checked, that like late last last week, um, was this uh, Delta Light video game um, thing. There is a Clips app that's going to be released very soon. It seems like it's just a single developer for the most part, right? And the, the Clips app just lets you view your clipboard, right? Just lets you view your cl- clipboard. I mean, I feel like you can get that in the App Store. Am I not mistaken on that? Don't know. Is that weird? Um, Wasn't there like a text extender utility or maybe that did clip a bunch? Like you could do multiple clipboards so, or you could... I can't remember what it was. So they also have a Patreon. And if you sign up for the Patreon... Um, it will help you. They'll, they'll give you access to betas. Like there's a beta of their their uh, emulator that'll let you play DS games. So like there's some interesting options there. Um, so it seems like a long way around to get an emulator on your phone. <laughs> I mean, I've seen I've seen shorter workarounds to this where mm-hmm. you could get it. You could sign up for the ninety nine dollar developer one, and then I think you you can do whole year signings on there mm-hmm. and then because you can write your own you they'd give you the the code you could compile it on your own but that's like i need to be able to do that and and code and compile and, and understand that process but they just give you like the, the the whole package mm-hmm. and you just pretty much import it into xcode and then go up and click compile hmm. But it's Delta Light. It's Alt Store. I believe it is altstore.io if you want to go check that out. Uh, if you're not afraid of downloading something, like you have to go in and, and say, I want to trust this developer, kind of like what happens on a Mac right now anyways. Um, I'm sure it kind of opens you up a little bit with this kind of thing. It's kind of saying download any app on, a, on an Android device. Um, but um, kind of cool that it's an option. I don't know what more other than emulators we need on a phone that Apple doesn't let you do these days other than porn apps. Wouldn't you know that if Nintendo came out with a $100 app and a, and a $7 a month subscription charge, mm-hmm. people would buy it and subscribe. Yep. Like, I just don't yep. get why people don't quench that thirst. Because they want you to buy Switches and sign up for that online uh, account like you have, Chilla. But Sega used to do it. Sega had the mm-hmm. app, and I think it was like $10 or something. I kind of gave you the arcade. Uh, there they, was another... Yeah, they had those. On the phone, they, made, and on, made, on the phone, they've been individually releasing those games, and then they stopped doing it, and you can pay like $2 to get the ads to go away and have save files. Who was it that made Spy Hunter? I can't remember. Midway? Midway. Midway Games had a whole... Like virtual arcade where it was like you were standing in the center of an arcade and you could scroll mm-hmm. around and play the different mm-hmm. arcade games. So, I don't know. Katie, do you, do you see, you want to play Nintendo games on your phone? Obviously. She's <laughs> playing Mario Kart, isn't she? Yeah. 
You're still playing Mario Kart, aren't you? No. No? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you can put that down for two seconds, uh, tell no. us what Pandora's doing. Now, this isn't a, as exciting as Chilla's story. <laughs> I want to talk about Chilla's story. We'll get the Chilla's story. Boo. Okay, fine. So, uh, Pandora, uh, a lot of the other Spotify, you know, they're trying to keep up with the rest of them and the personalization. Mm -hmm. So, Pandora's kind of revamped the app. They have a lot more of the personalization that you find in the other music apps. Mm -hmm. um, a lot more of, like, if you have a channel, you can essentially select if you want some deep track cuts from maybe the, the different artists or something new that's popular that's similar to the artist you're listening to they're also helping you discover podcasts that you might be interested in um including i think if stuff from sirius um xm hmm. did some still, of their podcasts i'm still trying to get our podcasts in there their sign ups process is long <laughs> and Arduous a little bit, Painful. so <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I, was, I, I submitted a lot of stuff, and I have heard nothing back. <laughs> and it was kind of pretty much like, "Don't expect the call soon." When I signed up for it, so it's like, "Okay, all right, we'll see what we can do here." But um, yeah, so it's more for you. Uh, so they're definitely getting more in the personalization, to different kind of like they have a Monday motivation, or mm -hmm. you know, a lot of what you're seeing in the other music apps. So they're kind of trying to catch up with everybody else. So yeah, I feel like you know Google Music. I feel does this. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, it's Tuesday night. This is what you usually listen to. Hey, you like this, so maybe you'll like this. This coming into uh, these people are playing. You know, in your town. You know, um, you know, check them out. New new albums, things like that. Like I, I, I've learned so. I've discovered so much. And I remember the biggest reason I left Pandora because it felt like I was listening to the, like it curated our playlist, not a playlist, but these radio stations, and then that was it you know we curated them down so much i knew it was going to be the same 10 songs yeah right oh yeah um, especially yeah pandora was the worst like early that. on so yeah. it was a good idea but mm -hmm. it just like some of the execution if you're a long time and used it a lot mm -hmm. it really kind of wore out on it wasn't you something you could listen to all day no like we're no so we go on road trips uh uh i think i think a producer missy had what the um the uh the the high school dance mix and we knew it was like, okay, Vanilla Ice is coming up, and then this yeah. song, and then this song, and then tag team, and then this, you know, uh, you know that kind of thing. So I don't know, but uh, <laughs> well, be it, 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 you know, it, it they're 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 still on. It, it, it's Spotify has been having some interesting features too lately, mm -hmm. where it was like you can sh like you can share a playlist, and now it's going to start sharing podcast playlists too. What? I thought it was too. I could add a podcast into the middle of into my the middle music of playlist, which I so, thought was very interesting. So yeah. start your day with Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs, Daily Tech News Show, and then back into Poppy. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you do. <laughs> oh, um, all right. We'll talk. Wait, which one? Electric scooter one or oh, this is the Chilla Four Dutters. Yes, that's okay. the article I've been waiting for. Okay, this is what you've been waiting for. Chilla, what happened? This is for Dutters. It's for Dutters. Wait, you want? Well, I can I can present it. Yeah. Yeah. So I say you're the one that brought this to the table. In not Auburn, to the billboard, but to the table in Auburn Hills, Michigan, mm -hmm. alongside I seventy five North between University Drive and Highway M fifty nine. Um, I probably drove this road a couple months I, ago. I couldn't find the exact date it occurred, mm -hmm. but it seems someone hacked into a billboard and played porn, and it took twenty minutes. This is a for police. busy highway. It took twenty minutes for police to make contact with the sign's owner mm -hmm. and for them to take it down. While all of this didn't surprise me. Oh, there's video. There's video. Oh, I didn't see the video. I didn't watch <laughs> the video. If you dig into the story, um, there's some there's some dash cam footage. They've obviously blurred it out, but um, that's definitely probably some porn. <laughs> so what, what I thought was interesting was they released a photograph and video of the two people suspected of breaking into the control room and hacking, hacking the computer. Mm -hmm. It's like hacking a Gibson. Um, the, if they just if distracted Pendulette and we just, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a picture of them. If the pair is, if the people were found, they could face a penalty of 90 days in jail and or a fine of $500 <laughs> for, but the fine is for, 
promoting pornography. What? That's what mm-hmm. I don't get. Yeah, in the article, it's like, I understand like $500 90, day, 90 days in jail for breaking and entering and burglary and, you know, potential infliction of harm to people. Mm-hmm. But for promoting pornography, like, is there some strange law in Auburn Hills, Michigan <laughs> that we don't I, know I about? feel like you can't promote, like, like you don't see, like, Bill Ward for Playboy, well, when Playboy was a thing, or Hustler or something. But but then but again, you but the, you see for like their clubs for clubs and 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 Lions Den Triple X and all that kind of stuff. So I, especially in West Virginia. Yeah, I just thought that was that kind of threw me for a loop. Mm. Uh, well, but, here was my favorite part of the article. They noted how dangerous the incident was because there was m- a lot of rubbernecking drivers slowing down the gawk and film the scene. Yes. Creating numerous opportunities. So for there's us. an endangerment, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Princess Leia, one of the adult film actresses featured in the movie, told Vice that she was relieved no one was hurt. It is my sincere hope that this will open a larger public discussion regarding the safety of electronic billboards. <laughs> they had a quote. Wait, her, her, her name was. How, how did they spell Leia. Princess Leia? It, L-E-I-A. Wow. What? Is she being by Is it, was she in the film? Or was... She was uh, in one of the films. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. They had a very select playlist apparently for this. Mm-hmm. Where the where's that where's that on our Spotify list? Um, actually, that playlist is probably on Pornhub somewhere, isn't yep. it? <laughs> so, wow. So everybody, secure your electric. We got a lot of electronic billboards mm-hmm. going on here um, in the in the Pittsburgh area. <laughs> So it's probably one of those things like, you know, like Bluetooth in a car. We never thought it was we needed to secure it. Right. But they, but they broke into a control room. I mean, it wasn't like they hacked in wirelessly. They physically broke into a building to make yeah. this work. Yeah. So there, there's obviously y- you can't just go up and join the Wi-Fi, some open <laughs> Wi-Fi <laughs> so that's interesting. and so, upload a video to so, it. So like it's not video, but we have this electronic billboard right down here and it's like an online login. So that would be subject to something like that too. So, and I'm pretty sure it's a pretty like accessible. It goes right up there. There, there might be like an <laughs> approval process, um, but uh, that could that could be interesting too. This is why you don't enable your Bluetooth. No, <laughs> hit, no, it did do not allow on the iOS 13. You never know, and then everybody's sending you porn on your phone. Okay, well, maybe you want it. That's also know. why you like limit AirDrop. Like mm-hmm. to contacts you know, yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like walking into a, um like a club with AirDrop on is a bad idea, or a lot of fun depending if you're dry, airdropping hey, other okay, people. Depending <laughs> on your, what you're looking for, depending on your goals for the night, I guess. Yeah. So. so you guys remember that app back in the day that was Bump? Bump, Bump, Bump. yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, exactly. It is kind of the next uh, step for that. Daughters, tell me about fancy electric scooters. Oh, I think I, this is for Chilla. Look, we have Ooh. gifts for each other today. There you go. Yay. So it's Unagi Scooters, and it's a motorized electronic scooter, and it's top of the line, super fancy pants. Uh, it's, it enables you. It's it's pretty cool. It's like it's really cool. It folds right in half. Um, the wheels are made to not puncture. There's an LED screen, so you can see how much ener- you know power you have. It memorizes like how fast you like to go, like your top speeds. Mm. It's got a fancy LED headlight. Uh, it's very fancy pants, and I feel like it would be a Chilla thing. Is this how he's getting to Look, work? It's, it's like Chilla. Like if you scroll well, down the main screen, Chilla's on the bottom there. There's a red cup. <laughs> <laughs> that does look like you. It's only a thousand dollars. Yeah. So is this that's the, for the dual motor? For the single motor, it's eight forty. You probably need the dual to get up hills. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. Well, it's not like I'm going to be. I, I I don't think I would be able to ride this all the way into town. No, 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 no. But I mean, you got a little bit of a walk to the train, right? This is well, this it's is the, that, it's, it's this the, is the last mile, right? It's the walk to the train. It's building to building downtown. I could <sighs> zooming around downtown. We got bike lanes. You're all set. I could be one of those people. Yeah, you could be one of those people. Don't, by the way, don't, make sure you look both ways before you walk through a bike lane. There's a uh, little bit of a... Unagi, if you want a tester in a uh, multi-climate environment like Pittsburgh... I believe we're called lots a, of hills. I believe we're called a black diamond, including to uh, Uber uh, uh, Technical. I am happy to test this out for you. There you go. we have to tag them. We'll tag them out there. It has confident braking. Mm-hmm. Confident br- as opposed to... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I, uh, I can go for a stop mm-hmm. right now, I guess. Maybe, perhaps. Uh, let's see. What's the life? Oh yeah, what's the battery life? Uh, we we didn't even talk to on. Uh, real quick. Uh, Chilla, can you give me a super super quick rundown of Amazon and Oculus announcements? Amazon put out what you can get a ring, you, you can, can get, get a ring. glasses, yep, you can get earbuds, yep. Developers can get some strange dongle to extend Wi Fi a little bit farther, which I really didn't <laughs> understand that one. Um, it sounded like if like you wanted to get Wi Fi, mm-hmm. like to the very edge of your property and you just needed another five i just didn't get the use case i'm sorry there's a lot of stuff and a lot of this is kind of in preview mode i'm kind of curious you know i like it when technology's on my face and the glasses have me interested the glasses definitely had me interested the thing that i thought was weird was the ring Mm -hmm. because the person was like you kind of tap i think it was you tap the bottom of it vibrates or can make some kind of and this is a ring on your finger not a ring doorbell yes yeah you can talk to it but then you have to you kind of have to speak into it and then hold it up to your ear to get the response that's so weird and kind of like some kind of bad like old get smart (laughs) technology from like and it looks a lot like actually the kind of ring that you're wearing now you have this kind of black wit ring yes this is one of their prototypes yes um (laughs) And your glasses. I mean, you yep. got the thick rim glasses that that look like that could be the uh, the A train glasses. So, but here's my just why didn't they just work out their phone? <laughs> Remember they came right? out with because everybody phone. else has that, but you don't see Apple's glasses. So, yeah. but I can talk to my assistant. Mm-hmm. I can talk to even I can talk to Amazon's assistant mm-hmm. from my phone. So I um, I, I I think. I, I mentioned interested in the glasses concept. I, I kind of want Google's version of this because I feel like I feel like in the long run Google's going to be more helpful to me. Um, I'm more in that ecosystem. But hey, if they're pushing it this 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 far, then um, you know you never know. So, all right. Uh, anything else? Uh, Oculus. Kind of the cool thing is so that- Oculus. The one thing I thought that was really cool about that is the they their quest line. Mm-hmm. So they're the quest will now allow you to plug in mm-hmm. to your PC and run the Rift and Steam based software, from my understanding, on the Quest goggles. Over USB C is it? Over USB C. Now there is, if you're worried about bandwidth, there's a special seventy nine dollar fiber optic USB C the other thing that I saw was cool and I think you oh that's a hands on so correct me if I'm wrong but the quest has cameras in the corners I believe it does and in a future software update there'll be no more need for their hand controllers and it's going to do hand tracking. So it'll see your hands. And then also, hmm. this will be really interesting. For AR, if you wanted to do tabletop gaming, mm-hmm. obviously there that that those goggles today are like you can't see through them, right? You're seeing whatever's on the screen in front of you. Right. With the cameras, you'll be able to see it'll give you the like it'll let you see through them what's in the room. But then we'll do AR math for fun, I guess, and overlay stuff, which to me, this, if they can perfect this, it put, it will put the HoloLens to shame. Oh, shit. <laughs> because the, because the HoloLens has that, like, still has that letter. They're getting bigger. The letterbox type thing is getting bigger and bigger, mm-hmm. but it's not full field of view. Yeah, you're going to be looking through this screen to see a live feed of the world. But if I can put four TV screens on your wall and watch YouTube on this one, something closed caption on this one, and play a video game on the other one, that's pretty awesome. Or for me, put all the rest, and that's going to be on. You could put yeah, you could put four. (laughs) You could do like eight video screens across this wall that Mm -hmm. don't really exist. Mm -hmm. And to to me, where this would be really cool is. 
if you're staying in a hotel room for a night and you don't want to use their TV, Mm -hmm. this could become your movie. You could full movie screen a wall and still as, as opposed to my uh, mini projector that i brought with yes. me <laughs> to watch wrestlemania one year <laughs> and then uh, you can play the the new vader game uh katie uh when you're when, when you've upgraded from your uh cassette tapes and your nintendo and your VH, vcrs are you excited about talking to your glasses yes. you're a contact wearer though i, do. I occasionally wear glasses mm-hmm. i've been trying to get back into wearing my i have uh those blue light blocking ones mm-hmm. for both prescription and non-prescription because after a while, oh my gosh, my eyes. <laughs> Everything hurts. <laughs> yeah, you get the dark mode. You got the dark mode on there? Well, what's, yeah, well, that and then it, what's weird, I was laughing. I was going through my Twitter account, going through all the different accounts, and some of them are in dark mode, some of them are not. I'm like, oh, why wouldn't you think that just one setting would all be in dark Yeah, why mode? isn't this universal? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I want to be blinded when I'm on the client thing. Yeah. yeah. Or actually, that could be a good visual of like, hey, be careful when it's bright and it's hurting my eyes, you know, stop, kind look. of thing. Yeah, stop, stop, don't, look. Don't just post, look. Stop, look, think business. Don't talk about the Steelers not playing or something. I don't know. Oh, boy. Well, anyways, this has been an awesome time, guys. Thank you so much. John Chilla. That's me. Uh, Chilla on the Twitters. ChillaTech.net. John Chilla on the Facebooks. Uh, Kate Utters on the tweets. Yeah. And other and places. Kate Marie PGH on Instagram. Yes. Way more interesting there. I feel yes. Like. More zombies. More mm. just selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaurs. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll my, I'll my zombie out uh, at Zombie Den tomorrow and Friday. There you go. So, yeah. And then my zombie will be out at Stroll the Strip. I didn't get down there. I haven't mm-hmm. gone to Zombie Den. I yeah, didn't last year. You should go year. down there. The yeah. drinks are pretty good. I haven't. I was checking them out. I haven't tried them yet, honestly. But well, we're going to have to have a test night. Yeah. Though. Where's, where's that one at? That's the one in uh, Oyster House down on Market Square. Okay. Because right there's there. another one up from there, right? Yeah. There's uh, Nightmare, Nightmare and Forbes, which is... Okay. Is that the Jingle Bar or something? That's where the, that's yeah. where the Game of Thrones one was, yes. too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's that guy. Okay. So I so they all got mushed in my head mm-hmm. because because <laughs> I'm like, oh, did this guy take over their one or something? Then I saw you guys posting and I'm like, so there's actually like two zombie bars? There's Well, there's three Halloween bars now. Oh. I be- at least the ones I know about. There's one that there's just a, opened in the Lava tr- Lounge. It's a trend now. Yeah. Oh, the Lava Lounge. Yeah, down in Southside. I forget Jeez. what that one's called. That one just opened. But yeah. So yeah, there's three different. So you can go from one to one to one. <laughs> so you can do, wait, so we can do a Halloween bar crawl? Mm-hmm. Halloween bar bar crawl? Yeah. I mean, well, you'd probably have to get an Uber in between. The, the real trick square. would be is if you could do it where you like went Halloween bar, old church now bar, Halloween <gasps> bar, old church now bar. Like, because there's so many old churches that are now bars too. Mm-hmm. You could just make it a very interesting thing. It's like the bar version of a Spirit Halloween tour. Yeah. I like it. Hey, this definitely used to be a Toys R Us. Hey, this used to be in <laughs> uh, uh, Hills uh, or whatever. Hills, God. The, the, who knows? Those are toys are. Those, those have been something else since. Kmart's. Hell, the Kmart's went out. Sure. All right. And of course, check out everything going on. Sorgatronmedia.com. A lot of great podcasts. Joanna Lowe, um, actress, songwriter, uh, joined us once again on uh, Fishing Without Bait this week. And we'll be on for the next couple of weeks talking about relationships. So good discussions happening there. Um, of course, a lot of good stuff coming going on over at uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Bardic Mystery Tours just um, put part three up of their latest tour. So go check out our, that Dungeons & Dragons podcast there uh comic book pit are reviewing superman number 14 i'm sorry 15 uh on their latest episode and they will be this saturday morning at 10 a.m the comic book pit will be live at the uh new dimension comics location at the waterfront for the grand reopening I think they finally organized everything from being um, evacuated from Century 3. Uh, so I see they got a sign out front and everything. Um, I'll be there uh, helping out with the uh, on-location recording. So uh, please join us uh, if you want to go check out the guys in uh, a live recording and go get some comic books. Go support go support your local comic retailer, guys. Um, so um, go check that out and everything else out going on at SorgatronMedia.com. Thank you, Producer Missy been hanging out and entertaining our guests for the next show uh <laughs> co-host for the next show uh and we'll see you guys next time you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.